All right guys, so today we're taking a look at some really cool looking cases from Banks. Now this is Banks City Series, and here we have London, Mont Blanc, and New York City. And a huge shout out to Banks, as always, for taking care of the channel and sending me these products over to review for you guys. So thank you guys very much. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. Now we'll start off with the London, we'll obviously look at all three of them, but Looking at the box, it does say pattern phone case here. This is one of their collab illustrations. They say it's 2.0 millimeters thick, so we'll take a look at that. And basically the same Banks packaging as we're used to. So on the back, it does say scratch resistant, excellent drop resistance, precise cutouts, hand-friendly texture, thin and lightweight, and no fear of bumping. So very simple, very easy packaging from Banks. You just pull this up and let's get our phone case out. So let's go ahead and take all of them out of the packaging real quick and we'll take a look at them. So here we have the Mont Blanc version. So we'll open that up right there, get that out of here. And finally, New York City. And these are really cool looking. I've actually put all of these on my phone already just to kind of see how they look with the Black Titanium 15 Pro Max. And here we have them. So looking at the London first, on the back, you have just like a map design of London. Each one of them have like a little bit of a saying or so. This one says mind over miles. The Mont Blanc one says ascend to majesty. And the New York City one says mind over miles also. So, and miles of smiles at the bottom. So here we also have race pace ace, which, you know, you kind of get what you get with these designs, but they are really cool looking. So taking a look at the back, the back of it just has this plasticky, uh, polycarbonate type material, nothing too special. You know, it is, there's no really grip or texture on the back of it. You do get a plastic camera ring right here and you do have MagSafe. If you guys can see right there, there is a MagSafe ring and there is a MagSafe ring and an alignment magnet. Now looking at the inside of the case, basically the same sort of material, MagSafe and alignment magnet. Going around the sides, you do have a little bit of texture right there, and these are your TPU sides, and they have a little bit of shock absorption material going around the sides, as well as the corners having little reinforced corners on all four of them, and that way you guys have some drop protection on here. Now these do not have the same drop protection as like the Banks Armor Pro does, for example, nor do they have the same level of grip, but these are very simple kind of little protective cases that you can use on your everyday journeys and you know, you can drop them here and there. I wouldn't go dropping them from too high up, but if you have a little bit of a sustained drop on one of these, it's not gonna be the end of the world. So let's go ahead and take over our scale real quick. We'll bring that over here. Let me set these off to the side up here. We'll bring the scale and let's see the weights on them. Now, these are kind of getting in the way. So let's put this right here. All right, so we have our scale in grams and we'll start off with Mont Blanc. Now they should all be the same weight. Here we're looking at 39 grams, London. London is 40 grams. Okay, so one more time just for good measure, 39 grams. So Mont Blanc is one gram lighter than London and bringing over New York City. New York City is also 39 grams. So London seems to be the heaviest one out of all of them. Not really sure why but they all look pretty much exactly the same to me. However, looks like London is one gram heavier. Now we'll go ahead and turn this off and we'll bring over our caliper to measure if it is actually that 2.0 millimeter thickness. So here we have 11.5 millimeters just from front to back and from side to side, we are looking at 3.0 millimeters. So I'm not really sure where that 2.0 millimeters right here came from, but that is what it is, you know, we're here to test all of these things. So right there, 3.2 millimeters by 10.9 millimeters. So it looks like London may be a little bit thinner. Yeah, London is a little bit thinner than Mont Blanc and New York City is 11 millimeters by 3.4 millimeters. So you get a little bit of a difference. I'm again, not really sure why there's a difference. They are pretty much the same exact cases here, but that's what we're here to check out. That's why we're here to test everything. So let's go ahead and bring our black titanium 15 pro max to this case and we'll slap it on here. We'll check out all the buttons and everything like that. 
And then we'll try on all the other ones just to kind of see how they look. So starting off, let me give this a little bit of a wipe down. Let's start off with the fit. So very nice tight fit on this case. It doesn't really move too much. Around your buttons, you are going to get a little bit more movement. At the bottom, a little bit more stiff. And at the top, the same thing. So pretty good fit on here. Let's check out those corners. Now this is a very tight fit onto this case. Two, three, and four. Nice tight fit onto the case. It's a very slim feeling case in the hand. It's very, very minimal as far as the feeling of it. And great fit on here all around. So looking at that camera and screen protection, give that one more wipe down, getting some fingerprints. Now I am using a tempered glass screen protector and we get a slight, slight bit of raised edges. So I would be a little bit more careful on what you're going to set this down on, but you can set this down on its face and you should be good to go with the protection. And on the camera ring, you do get a pretty decent camera bump right there. That way you're able to set this down kind of on most surfaces as well. I wouldn't go on any jagged surfaces or anything like that, but you can set this down and you will be protected by that. Now, by the way, this is a polycarbonate camera ring right there. And taking a look at the sides, starting off with the top, it is completely closed in. On the left hand side, we do have our action button, volume up and down, and the rest of the case is closed in. Listening to those buttons. Very nice clicky buttons on there. Now the buttons are plastic, they are not metal, and they do protrude out just a little bit. I would like to see them sticking out just a little bit more to kind of give them a little bit more of a pronounced feel, but they are easily clickable. You don't have to worry about mistaking these buttons in your pockets or them accidentally being clicked. They are nice, firm, clicky buttons. Moving along to the bottom of the case, here we have our accurate microphone and speaker cutouts, as well as that USB Type-C port. So we'll bring over our anchor cable, plug that in here. We are charging. I don't know why we didn't get the uh, sound there, but that's okay. But either way, you do get a pretty decent USB Type-C port. So most of your thicker head cables should be able to fit in there without any issues. Usually if this anchor cable fits, it's no problem at all. And moving, okay, I just got a super late delayed charging sound, but that's fine. And moving along to the right hand side, it is completely closed in with that power button right there. So let's go ahead and check out how the MagSafe is on here. So we'll bring over our Apple MagSafe wallet, put that on. There we go, there's our animation. And here you can kind of move it around a little bit, but like I said, this back is pretty slippery and this doesn't really have that same texture on the back. It has those same magnets that Banks usually uses on most of their cases, but the texture is so smooth here that your leather wallet may have a little bit of movement or your fine woven wallet. So keep that in mind. And moving along to the Apple MagSafe battery pack, slap that on. There's our charging animation. And here, this is where those magnets shine. You can definitely not worry about having these slip off or come off, fall off at all. They have great magnets. Banks is known for their magnets, guys. That MagClap technology they have is always super solid. It's just that material that may get in the way of leather or fine woven, any sort of material like that. But definitely no worries about your MagSafe battery pack coming off, especially not anything with a silicone base like this. And finally, moving along to our Anchor 623, we'll go ahead and put that on here give it a little bit of a shake. And as you guys can see, that's that same Banks magnet technology right there. It is very, very strong magnets on there. You do have to kind of give it a shake for the charging base to come off. And finally, going over to our 360 degree rotation test that we always do, you're sitting here typing a text or an email, scrolling on Instagram or Twitter, which by the way, follow me at Brian's underscore tech on Instagram and two underscores on Twitter, but shameless plug right there. Turning it horizontally, you can definitely sit here, click around, watch your favorite YouTube videos, whatever you're doing, play a game and you will be good to go on there. And of course, you know, sit here, turn it 360 degrees with no problems at all. So super nice fit on this case. It definitely feels really good on the phone. It is a little bit slippery guys. So that's one thing I've noticed about these cases, just because of not really having too much texture anywhere around, these can tend to get a little bit slippery around the sides and the back, especially if your hands are wet or anything like that. But 
they do have some pretty decent shock absorption technology in them. So if you were to drop your phone, you should be good to go. But Banks, if you guys are listening, I would really like to see some sort of texture here or maybe alter the material a little bit, just like you guys did with that new Armor Pro Montage. That thing is perfect around the sides, very nice and grippy without having any sort of texture. It's, it's really good, so I would like to see that on these cases as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other ones. We will take off the London version. Let's see here. They, they are a little bit difficult to get off because of how tightly fit they are on here. So let me go behind the camera here, and get this one off of here. All right, so that is London. Next, let's take a look at New York City. So go ahead and put this on here. Same button, same everything. Very tight fit onto there if you guys see that. Very nice clicky buttons on this one. Same way, looking around 360 degrees. There we go. Each side, nice, accurate microphone and speaker cutouts, USB-C port. Everything is pretty much the exact same. And just taking a look at how the New York City one looks with the black titanium 15 Pro Max, that looks really good as well. You guys, you can't really go wrong with any of these. So this is New York City. You get a little compass right there, a little timer. Very nice map of New York. I like this. This one is really nice looking. I love all of the details on it. But the best looking ones, in my opinion, are these two. Of course, you've got the white on the black and the black on black. So let's go ahead and let me take this one off here. All right, we'll put New York City back here and we'll put on Mont Blanc. So again, putting that on here, super nice, super tight fit. Taking a look around the sides, closed in, left hand side, those same nice buttons. To the bottom, you have the accurate microphone and speaker cutouts, USB type C port, and the right hand side is completely closed in. And looking at that, that looks really good. That white on black, I'm a sucker for white on black to be honest with you guys. This is the black text with the white looking case, that kind of like shimmery white, Ascend to Majesty, black camera ring on the black titanium phone. This one looks really, really good. So. Very nice cases, guys, and let's talk about the price on these. So the price on these cases are $19.99, almost 20 bucks, which is a steal in my opinion for what you're getting. You're getting great MagSafe, you're getting some nice drop protection, a very tight fit, and great customizability with these really nice looking cases. That's one thing that Banks is always doing. They're always innovating on different designs, what they put on the back of their cases. That way they're not just making the same old black or white or whatever color cases. They're always innovating with something new. First, it was that montage that I really like. Now these are super nice. I've been using these for a couple days. They're very cool. You know, Banks is always trying to do their best and keep it at a very good price point. So $19.99 on each of these, which by the way, I do have a discount code for you guys and the links for all of these will be down in the description below, but make sure you use the code Brian15. I'll leave that right there. And that'll save you 15% off of any purchase on banks off your entire purchase. And that makes these cases even cheaper, which is really, really cool. So if you guys are interested in any of these cities or you just want a really cool looking case, I can definitely recommend for under 20 bucks, especially using my code and saving 15% off, I can definitely recommend picking one of these up. So with all that being said, guys, these are the Banks City Series MagClap cases for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let me know what you think about them down in the comments below. I personally love the way they look and make sure you guys like and subscribe. And if you're interested in seeing that Banks Armor Pro Montage Series case, which by the way, that thing is excellent, I'll leave that video right there.